Hello everyone, it's James from Upgrade or Trash IT with you and today I've got the Latitude E5420 and what I'm going to be doing in this video is installing Chrome OS Flex which is a new operating system from Google aimed at older laptops. So let's see how well it installs, it installs and how well it performs. So I'm going to turn the laptop on, I've got Chrome Flex on a USB stick which is plugged in. Okay, so I've gone into the boot menu. I'm going to select USB storage device. And let's see how we go. I installed this yesterday on the Latitude 6330 and I think it installed in somewhere between seven or eight minutes. So that was a pretty good, pretty good installation time. Let's see how this compares. Okay, so I thought I had an external mouse plugged into this. But obviously it isn't working just yet. So I'll have to use a touchpad. So I'm gonna install it properly. I'm not just gonna try it out and run it from the USB stick. Okay, so it's just telling me, well, if I install it properly, I'm going to destroy everything on the hard drive is going to be wiped. What's interesting about OS Flex compared to other operating systems is that when it installs, there doesn't seem to be a progress bar for you to look at. We've just got this blue line which is going round in a circle, just off centre of the screen. Installation so far has lasted around three to four minutes.
Okay, so here we go. The installation is complete. And it's saying to us it's automatically going to shut down in about a minute. But let's shut it down now. So we've got to remove the USB device before we shut it down. There we go. This is always a scary moment when it restarts after an installation. This is where some errors and bugs can appear. A, a Latitude 3330 where I installed Chrome had, had an issue with um, an invalid partition table which I had to quickly come up with a solution for. I think this one needs a little bit of help actually shutting down. I'm just going to hold the on button for a few seconds. And then... Here we go. Okay, so my external mouse is still not working, but I'm, at this point I'm going to Okay, I'm going to go for the English, United Kingdom, and then in terms of keyboard to go for the UK Okay, I'll just pause this while I connect to the network. Actually, before I pause it, this is really interesting because I couldn't get the Wi-Fi to work in Windows 10 and neither could I get it to work when I was trying to um, load Ubuntu. In fact, Ubuntu didn't even seem to know if there was a wireless card, a wireless connection there, or a wireless card in the laptop. So I'm gonna pause this, connect it to my network, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so the Wi-Fi is loaded, which is fantastic. And then we're going to accept Google's terms and conditions. I'm going to set this up for me, for an adult as opposed to a child. And now I'm going to sign in. So I'll just pause the video again while I sign in. Okay, I'm going to have to put these two pieces of video together. So I've signed in successfully, now I'm just going to agree for the, um, that Chrome's going to sync, that Google can um, collect some hardware, um, data about the hardware. Okay, so we've now got Google Assistant, their voice assistant. And there we go, the um, 
installation of Chrome OS is complete. What I'm just going to do is I am going to um, just restart it just to check that everything's okay. So I'll leave the video running. Okay, and it has restarted successfully. So, Chrome OS Flex works on the Latitude E5420, and I will put how long the installation actually took um, in the description on the video, because I've had a bit of a cock up with shooting the video for this one. And the bonus is, it's got the Wi-Fi to work, which is which it didn't as I said, it didn't get the Wi-Fi to work with Windows 10 and it didn't seem to get the Wi-Fi to work with Ubuntu either. Thank you for watching.